a material's proof stress is the highest stress possible for it to tolerate without causing a permanent set of more than inch per inch the length of gauge after the total release of stress. A 5.1 B 0.002 C 0.0001 D 0.1 The correct answer is 0.0001 the proof stress of a material of 3 inches gauge length is the highest stress it can withstand without a permanent set of above inch. A 0.0003 B 0.21 C 0.05 D 0.004 The correct answer is 0.0003 in the tension testing experiment while determining elastic limit the increment while the load is being increased should not exceed of the elastic limit in the ending. A50. B7. C2. D3. The correct answer is. 3. The setup of a torsion test involves two clamps having a distance of inches between them. A10. B18. C26. D8. The correct answer is. 8. In a torsion test if the wire that has to be tested has a diameter of more than 0.333 inches the specimen needs to have a minimum length of inches. A10. B33. C0.0966. D26. The correct answer is. 10. For a 4 inch gauge length cross head speed of a machine should not exceed inch up to yield point. A116. B14. C18. D16. The correct answer is. 14. The tension testing machine cross head should not cross the speed of inch per inch of the gauge length per minute until the yield point. A111. B2. C116. D25. The correct answer is. 116. What is the variation to which the tension testing machine must be sensitive? A1 250 of the registered load. B1 100 of registered load. C1 500 of registered load. D1 200 of the registered load. The correct answer is. 1 250 of the registered load. What does a represent in the diagram? A stress meter. B radius. C gauge length. D diameter of center. The correct answer is. Diameter of center. It is possible to determine the proof stress in a way in which is determined. A elastic limit. B yield point. C stress. D strain. The correct answer is. Elastic limit. The elastic limit of a material is. A the least amount of stress that can be held without permanent deformation. B highest stress a material can experience without permanent deformation. C average stress experienced by material in its lifeline. D strain on material. The correct answer is. Highest stress a material can experience without permanent deformation. During tension testing the material must be held in alignment. A normal. B axial. C parallel. D diabolical. The correct answer is. Normal. In the torsion test there are two clamps. The clamps are. A both fixed. B one fixed one rotating. C both rotating. D both joined permanently. The correct answer is. 1 fixed 1 rotating. A material's proof stress is also referred to as. A elastic limit. B yield limit. C proportional limit. D set method. The correct answer is. Proportional limit. Why must an accurate extensometer be used in reading a permanent set? A. It is cheap. B. To obtain accuracy. C. It is radioactive. D. It is unnecessary. The correct answer is. 
to obtain accuracy. Torsion is defined as a compressive force, b type of friction, c twisting, d object at rest. The correct answer is twisting. Which of the following can be obtained through a tension test? A color, b heat treatment, c ultimate tensile strength, d conductivity. The correct answer is ultimate tensile strength. It is a requirement for A to undergo the torsion test. A sheet. B wire. C steel plate. D wood. The correct answer is wire. The extensometer can be attached anywhere to the specimen. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is false. The elongation of a material can be obtained through tension testing. A true. B false. C. D. The correct answer is true.